Jay Bruce will step in now. Check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Pitch on the way. And Bruce can't come up with that one as he swings through it for strike two. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. And ever since allowing that single to open up the bottom of the first, he has really hit his stride. That is five straight he's set down now since then. Devin Mesoraco will get his first cuts here. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Now here's the pitch. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We play two full. The Cubs lead this one nine to nothing. Felipe Fernandez is ready to go here as we begin the third. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Boy, just the third inning and they've already racked up ten hits in the game. That's either outstanding hitting or some really lousy pitching. Willis Smith will try things again. He hit that two-run homer his first time. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Fastball that stays straight, but I think he just missed it as this is hit in the air to fairly deep center field. Rasmus is back though as he makes the catch on the track for the first down. So with one gone here in the inning, it's time to check out the Cubs' upcoming schedule so you can plan your week around staying at home and watching Cubs baseball here with us. Rafael Delis will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. And he's able to go with a fastball nicely there as this is sliced into right for a base hit. And he'll make it over to third base safely so that puts runners at the corners with only one gone. And this is where that old line for pitchers really applies. Swing hard in case you hit it. He looked pretty good there picking up the base hit. Starlin Castro will step in. One for two in the ballgame. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. 
And this is a tough guy to double up. He runs well, so even if you get the ground ball here, it's no guarantee you'll get two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One one on the way. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Yeah, an interesting setup now on two and two. Here's where you really need to pay attention to that guy at first. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. So two are gone now in the Cubs' half of the third, and in steps Adam Dunn. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Big swing by Dunn, but he's behind in the count now, 0-2. And, and it looks like he's going to let his fastball be the one that gets him out of this jam. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Perhaps a pyrrhic victory there after the nine run inning. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Wes Lavender will dig in here. It swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Dunn is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. Mike Leake will dig in and take his first cuts of the new campaign. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's the pitch. And he swings under the fastball here as this is popped high in the air back behind short. And Castro will put this one away for route number two. And early on here, we're not seeing a lot of solid contact so far. They're putting the ball in play, but not with a lot of conviction as illustrated by this pop-up. Two gone and Jimmy Rollins will stand in. He singled to lead off the home first. And here's the first pitch. Swing and a ground ball towards the middle. Throw on to fielders in time, and with that, the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. Three innings complete. The Cubbies are in front, nine to nothing. Will Clark will lead it off here for Chicago to be followed by Aramis Ramirez, who waits on deck. Here's the first offering. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0.
Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. And this is an important first out, not just because he's the leadoff hitter, but because of what he represents, and that's speed on the base pass. Anytime you can keep him off first, that is indeed a major victory. So one away here in the Chicago fourth, and here's the powerful Aramis Ramirez. First pitch coming. And he gets a hold of this one as it's in the air to deep left. Does he have another one? He does. It's another home run. A solo shot here to left. His second of the game as they just continue to pour it on here. You want to talk about an offensive explosion? That's six home runs as a team so far. I mean, you might get that once a season. The whole lineup's been absolutely dialed in. Prince Fielder will stride in, and they'll need to be careful as he's already homered twice thus far. First pitch on the way. And this will be fouled away. Good breaking ball, but he missed inside with it. A ball and a strike. And there's a guy that's just got to be running out of ideas at this point. I mean, this has been a debacle so far. Now the 1-1. One, one. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Up with it is Rollins. Throw to first in plenty of time to get fielder for out number two. And do not adjust your TV sets. That is a 10 in the run column already. This has been an absolute blitzkrieg so far. Damian Clark will stride forward now. He's bounced out a couple of times already here in the ballgame. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. Dives, and he makes the catch. How about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning? Cubs tack on another courtesy of this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Cubbies 10, and the Time for scores from around the National League on a Monday night, presented by the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Colby Rasmus will lead it off here for the Reds, followed by Brandon Phillips waiting his turn on deck. Foul back. Using the fastball exclusively here, it's 0-2. Yeah, with all the runs we've seen so far, it is hard to believe it's still only the bottom of the fourth. Too low with a the fastball there. One ball, two strikes. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. 